All right, today I got in that fantastic fan to go in the vent. We'll see how uh, that goes in. Should be a pretty uh, straightforward install. Looks beautiful. We've got the adjustments out in RS with a little water drop. Well, maybe that's, uh, I think this one too, it closes automatically if it senses rain or it goes down so rain won't get in. What else is in here? Bottom to go through the bottom, and this will go through the top. I got to take off the old one. Nice screen, keep the bugs out. Hardware, screws for mounting, and a fuse. And the good old instructions. Operation instructions, install, in color. So I'll take off the old one first and then proceed. Okay, now to go up on the roof and uh, Take it from the top side. Okay, first thing I'm gonna have to do is clean off uh, the threads on these bolts. I put a little bit of uh, construction glue just so they wouldn't loosen up back off. But only problem is when you wanna take them off, you gotta clean off the glue first. But that's all right, we'll get her done. Okay, got the vent cover off. Now, I'm gonna have to cut all this silicone along here, all around, so I can get that out, get the old one out. Okay, got all the screws out, got it all cut with the carpet knife, the caulking silicone. Now. Just take her out. <sighs> Voila! Out with the old. I'll have to clean up the edges all over here and then uh, re silicone for the new one. Okay, you gotta set the new one into position in your hole in the roof. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is a nice fit because I'm just basically putting in, uh, replacing an old one. But normally you would mark around with a pencil. I still will. You see, then you know exactly where to put your caulking sealant on the inside before you actually put it in place. And once you got the good sealant, and you got the vent in, you gotta install all the screws back around. Okay, the inside trim just depends on the thickness of your RVs. You know, each one can be a little different. But for me, I'm just gonna go off the old one. And stick it on, you can see it's the first line there. It's actually marked depending where you want to cut. So I'll get that cut with the jigsaw and it should fit right in. 
Voila. Okay, yeah, this slips right in. Perfect. But this isn't like a 35-year-old van, so the roof is not just most of them now are flat or boards or something. But the little dinky screws they provide, little wood screws, are not gonna cut it in my situation. So I'm gonna use some nice roofing screws. There we go, beautiful. And now, uh, that's got the wires coming out. Cause the old vent was only a crank vent, no fan or anything. So there's no wires up in there. I'm gonna run them out and tie them into the system eventually. But for now, I'm gonna hook them to uh, my battery pack, F40. It'll run this fan probably at least 12 hours if I needed to. So I'll use that for now, but then obviously on your van, you can just run it directly into the wiring. So I'll get it hooked up and we'll test it out. Okay, we got her hooked up, wired in. It does have a fuse. It comes with a spare fuse. Also, you got a remote. It's got the temperature. You could switch it right now. It's uh, 90 Fahrenheit in here. A little hot. <laughs> so yeah, power on. Oh, switch to Celsius. There's a button there. Yeah, hold it for three or four seconds and it switches. So we're at 32C, a little hot. So let's try and suck some air out. First, I'll open it. It's even got the, see the rain sensor on there? But up, so I'll move it up. It opens up nice. So if you're laying in bed, you can just use a remote, whatever, or wherever you are, it doesn't really matter. Or you can go a manual and just use the buttons. Okay, we got her open. Now we want fan, obviously. There we go. It's just like neutral, it's not sucking in or out. Well, it is coming in a bit, but let's go out. Okay, it starts, default is out. That's good. You can feel it sucking out. You can feel it sucking in from the open door. So it's gonna suck a lot of the heat out of here. Now, let's say we want to, we could increase the speed. Whoa, 100% there. Holy smoke, yeah, you can really feel it sucking in here. Nice and cool. And then let's say we want to uh, slow her down a bit here. And what happens if we want, uh, okay, I shut it off because I went right down to zero on the speed. But I want it to blow in now. So in, fan. See, I had, it was going out. I hit in, it had to stop, and then turn the opposite way, obviously. Yeah, she's blowing in nice now. So yeah. Very easy install, and when it's down, you know, unless you have it cranked, it's very quiet. So that's really going to help cool down my van. The dream machine. So if you're interested in more information, there will be links in the description. Whew, she's a hot one today. Have a good one. We'll catch you on the next video. And remember, I'm going off-grid soon. Very soon.